During the Cold War, the Soviet Union invested heavily in its air defense systems. As a result, Russia now possesses some of the most advanced air and missile defense systems in the world. Russian air defense systems are also highly proliferated and are currently in use by dozens of nations around the world. Furthermore, many countries have developed variants and begun indigenous production of these weapon systems. Current Russian air defense doctrine follows a three-tier approach. This layered system allows Russian air defense forces to create anti-access area denial zones that can be difficult to penetrate. The highest tier of these defensive networks uses long-range systems such as the S-200, S-300, and S-400, providing air defense bubbles potentially up to 800 kilometers in diameter. These zones are typically augmented by the second tier which includes medium-range systems like the 9K-37 Buck and its variants. This medium-range layer is intended to increase radar coverage within the air defense zone and augment the more limited inventories of longer-range interceptor missiles. The third tier uses mobile short-range systems like the 9K-33 ASA and S-125 Neva to provide extra protection for key areas such as military bases. These systems, along with highly mobile systems like the Buck are often also attached to formations of ground forces in the field. Due to their vulnerability to low-flying threats such as cruise missiles, the first and second layer defenses are often guarded by point defense systems like the Tor or Panzer S-1. Close-in air defense systems play special role among field air defense weapons. Their primary task is to provide air defense of motorized and tank units and subunits in maneuvering combat and on the march by delivering fire on the move. In this video, we will be focusing on short-range air defense systems of the Russian ground forces that protect armor units from air attacks. TOR is a Soviet-era air defense missile system. It is known in the West as SA-15. Development of this SAM system commenced in 1975. It was developed as a successor to the SA-8 Gecko. The main goal was to shoot down air-launched cruise missiles. It entered service with the Soviet Army in 1986 and after the collapse of the Soviet Union, these missile systems were passed on to Russia and Ukraine. This missile system is produced in three variants. M2E is the export version, based on a track chassis. Second variant is Tor M2K which is mounted on a wheel chassis. The third variant is M2KM is a modular design that can be used on ships, buildings. Both tracked and wheeled variants have capability to move with tanks and thereby provide cover against enemy attack choppers and drones. Tor missiles have radio command guidance with a maximum range of fire is 5 to 12 kilometers and maximum altitude is 4 to 6 kilometers, depending on the target speed. Its radar detects aircraft at a range of 25 to 27 kilometers, helicopters at a range of 12 kilometers, and UAVs at a range of 9 to 15 kilometers, tracking range is about 20 kilometers. This system can search for targets while on the move. One deadly aspect of this system is a brief reaction time. It takes only 8 to 12 seconds from target detection to launch. Panzer S-1, also known to NATO as the SA-22 Greyhound, combines both guns and missiles. It is reputed to be able to intercept cruise missiles and has been in action extensively in Syria. This system can hit targets at altitudes up to 50,000 feet, depending on the exact variant and the profile of the threat, but the system is primarily designed for low-altitude close-in point defense. Panzer S-1 baseline system comprises 1257E6 surface-to-air guided missiles and 230mm 2A38M cannons. It is designed to defend ground installations against a variety of enemy targets such as fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters, ballistic and cruise missiles, precision-guided munitions, and small UAVs. Each Panzer system is capable of engaging up to four missiles at a time. The latest Panzer SM variant incorporates a multifunctional targeting station, increased target detection range from 40 to 75 km, and engagement range from 20 to 40 km. The system also uses a new high-speed extended range missile, and existing Panzer systems can be upgraded to SM standards. Tunguska M1 is self-propelled anti-aircraft gun missile system designed to defend land forces units and small installations against low-altitude air threats. It is especially effective in defeating attack helicopters before they use guided weapons against armor columns. It can engage targets while stationary and on the move. 
The visible feature includes two 30mm twin-barrel rapid-firing guns for close in defense with 1900 rounds, eight short-range surface-to-air missiles. An electromechanically scanned parabolic E-band target acquisition radar is mounted on the rear top of the turret, and the turret front is mounted with J-band pulse Doppler 3D tracking radar. Tunguska with new radar system can detect target at a range of 38 km and start tracking it at 30 km, further it can engage threat at range of 18 km effectively. The cannons fires alternatively with a combined rate of fire between 4,000 to 5,000 rounds per minute. It can fire its cannons in two primary modes of operation, radar and optical. In radar mode, the target tracking is fully automatic, with the guns aimed using data from the radar. While in optical mode, the gunner tracks the target through the 1A29 stabilized site, with the radar providing range data. Tunguska has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, operator, and driver. It is the deadliest system in service as its guns and electro-optical sites cannot be jammed. The radar-guided ZSU-23-4 Shilka, self-propelled, with its four 23mm autocannons, is a revolutionary system, proving to be an extremely effective weapon against enemy attack aircraft and helicopters under every weather and light condition. To date, ZSU-23-4M4 and ZSU-23-4M5 are its modernized variants. These are armed with two additional paired Gigla, man-portable missiles on each side of the turret and equipped with 81mm smoke screen launchers, laser emission sensors, electro-optical vision devices, and an improved weapon radar system. Although Russian short-range air defense systems are impressive, but these systems do not ensure 100% protection unless properly deployed. The major problem was that these vintage systems emit high volume of RF waves and can be easily detected by technological advanced UAVs.